Thanks to a group of Idaho students, a woman from Guatemala seeking refuge in the United States was able to reunite with her children after years of separation. Idaho News 6 reporter Stephanie Garibay has more on how they made it happen. Uh, one of our priorities right from the start was, was to get her out of detention. She'd been in detention for about a year and a half. She'd been separated from her family for that entire time. Um, and I think all, to all of us, that seemed like a grave injustice. After a judge had repeatedly denied bond to an asylum seeker, a group of students at the University of Idaho working with their immigration clinic was able to find a way to have a mother reunited with her children, thanks in part to the pandemic. And it was the in part the COVID-19 risk factors, but it was also the fact that she is not somebody who is a flight risk or a danger to the community. This is a mother who's fleeing persecution. The team was appointed to the case by the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals, and each student assisted with different parts of the process. Um, I had to spend a, a considerable amount, amount of time just understanding what was happening in the first place, and then on top of that, craft an argument for the court. The woman who for her own protection will be referred to as FNC entered the U.S. in May 2019 seeking refuge. She has been in ICE detention for most of that time, but was able to file an appeal to the second highest court in the nation. That's not an easy thing to do, but um, it was so important to her to be in this country, to be safe from people who are targeting her in Guatemala, where her life was very much at risk. The team has been working on the case since April, and some of the students kept in contact with FNC on a daily basis. So when she was released from ICE detention, they say it was an emotional moment. I was one of the first people that she called when she got released. And so uh, we worked with an organization that picked her up and took her to the hotel. And then I met her there. Um, I made sure that I was able to debrief her. She referred to it as a miracle. And it truly is. The next step is for one of the students to represent her in the Ninth Court of Appeals. It's been a great honor to represent FNC in this case, um, in a case which has taken a lot of resources and um, pretty much all the students in the clinic have participated in some way in the case. In Twin Falls, I'm Stephanie Garibay, Idaho News 6.